Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. We're going straight into this video. No time for an intro. There's too much to discuss with the new list. This is the updated deck profile for everyone. So before we talk about it, don't forget to subscribe. At 30,000, we're doing a special Odd Eyes deck profile. So don't forget to subscribe and go follow the Twitch. With that being said, let's go. So, Servant Triple Abductor Double Reflection. A lot of people don't play Abductor. Why? Because you're absolute morons. You don't understand Abductor's power. Abductor... Abductor is the best card in the deck, hands down, after Servant of Endymion. Servant of Endymion is at one card. Hence, why would you not want to play a second Endymion, a Servant of Endymion, a third Servant of Endymion, a fourth? Wait, what? Why would you not play this? It's absolutely mandatory in the deck, without question. There is no other card in the deck I would play a Servant or Abductor. You are playing a spell counter deck. So you're playing a spell counter deck that relies on spell counters. Why would you not want a card that draws one? For those people that say, oh, it clogs the scale. No, one more clogs the scale. This garbage card right here, which I'm going to cut very, 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 very soon. Mythical Beast clogs the scale. Abductor does not. Abductor gets a card every single turn. Mythical Beast is not even a plus one. No Mythical Beast is a plus one. Abductor is always a plus one. So I'm pretty sure Mythical Beast have to leave. And for the noobs that say stuff like, oh, how else are you going to destroy a window? By pendulum summoning five monsters from your hand. Anyways, double reflection. I feel if you don't open Servant, Abductor, or Reflection, or Mastery, what you need something to hold the counters. You need something to hold counters. You need something to plus for you. And without that, it's just very bad. Magister, just one. It's not a starter. Magister is not a starter, okay? A lot of you guys think, I should play three Magister. Ma sure. Activate Magister. Activate a scale. You're not getting... Magister cannot resolve without something in the extra deck. You're going to pen on summon two cards. And then what? Link into a Crowley? Summon one negate, pass. Like, Magister is not a starter. Magister is a win more card. If you already have access to Magister resolving, you already should be having five negates. Magister is extremely overrated. By far the most overrated card in this deck. Do not play more than one. Triple Chronograph. What people don't realize about Chronograph, it's a spell card as well as a free summon. So it accomplishes what Mythical Beasts do without clogging being a high scale. You need more high skills in the deck. Hence is the reason why a lot of you guys people play, people play more than one Magister. But Chronograph far exceeds Magister by a landslide. Also allows you to play Lord of Darkness. One Cerberus. I do not play it for its effect. Ash Blossom Pass. I do not play it for its effect. I play it because Servant being able to summon out a Cerberus is very vital going second. Being able to do that offers you so much more lines of plays to destroy your opponent. As you guys see... I have uploaded lots of Patreon videos for those on Patreon. I do many different skills and tricks with Cerberus. For those who want to check it out, check it out in the description below. And while we're at it, don't forget, go get yourself a beautiful Mighty Master Playmat, okay? Because the only reason people use to play Triple Cerberus is to trigger this amazing card, which I have a playmat of on TriffGaming.com, by the way. But you don't need Cerberus for Mighty Master anyway, any, anymore. Why? Because you have Selene. So now Selene kind of takes over Cerberus's role where Cerberus just stores counters, right? But you don't need to store counters. You have you have Selene. So you save your Money Master for Selene, and then you blow up the board. Don't, like, rely on the Cerberus for that when 90% of the time it's getting ash or it's getting useless, stuck in your hand, you're drawing more of it. You don't want that. I would 99% rather any other card than Cerberus there, especially because you cannot Pendulum Summon it. Two Jackal. Why? Because of Desires, and you want something to summon up with Servant, and Souls, you want to make sure you have one Jackal out to stop the Nibiru. So Serpent's getting Jackal is not very vital. I would not play more than one Jack, more than two Jackal. I'm only playing two Jackal because I'm playing three Desires. If I was, was not playing Desires in this deck, I'd only play one Jackal. But you want one Jackal to have access to, whether you hard draw it or Souls or Servant, etc. Triple Mighty Master. Firmly want to cut this down to two. If people don't understand, this doesn't help you build a board. This only helps you break a board once you already have enough counters and stuff. But the cards that help you build boards is cards that summon themselves, such as... Servant, Abductor, which gets Chronograph, which summons itself. Reflection, which summons itself. Magister, sometimes summons itself. That's why it's only a one. Chronograph summons itself. Soul summons itself, etc. And the rest of the deck. Triple Souls. Next, by the way, you don't really need three souls. Two souls is fine, but I prefer three because I'm playing lots of spell cards, as you should be. In fact, I feel this is not even enough spell cards, but you have to play as many spells as you possibly can that are good, not useless cards like Institution. So, Royal Magical Library. Why am I playing Royal Magical Library? As you guys saw in my video yesterday, I drew seven times with this card turn one. It does not conflict with Blue Boy. You have three normal summons in this deck. Two Royal Magical Library and one Blue Boy. Three. That's it. You're not playing five Blue Boy, five Royal Magical Library. You're playing two and one. If you draw one of them, you normal summon them. If not, if you draw both, which is just three of, you, draw, you normal the Blue Boy, and you save the Magical Library for the Pen Summon. 
And as you guys saw in my last video, I would pen summon and still draw three times Royal Magic Library in the turn because every one of my cards in deck leaves the field or get some card to add more spells, etc. Uh, if you open Royal Magic Library and a Secrets, you go Secrets into the Knowledge and you still resolve Royal Magic Library for draw two and then you Knowledge away the library. So Blue Boy is says uh, Normal Summon, get Knowledge, but draw two and remove it. But Magical Library says draw two anyways and then Knowledge anyways and draw four. So Royal Magical Library is absolutely ridiculous. I w there's no other card in the deck I'd rather open with than Royal Magical Library and spell cards. So when you open, when you look at this opening six, as you now have two more starters in Royal Magical Library. These are your only six starters. So for decks that are not playing Abductor, you, your only starter is Servant and Reflection. That, that's very low. Like your actual good starter and mastery. But now uh, having access to Royal Magical Library as well is very, very good. Especially since the Reflection can summon it. And I'm playing two Reflection because, like I said, it's another starter. You need to open these starters. And these starters are how you break boards. I show up on Patreon all the time. You break boards by having cards your opponent must negate. So now that Reflection has multiple counters, Rock Magical Library is about to draw four cards it was not dealt with. Now your opponent is just forced to deal with these cards. And then it's saving your best cards. Like your knowledge, your desires, your mastery, your mighty master, etc. So you need more cards to get negated, especially cards that hold counters like this. Your opponent is not negating a magic so they cannot activate its effect. Yeah, that makes sense. You have no actual cards in the extra deck to bring it out. So one is all you need uh, for that. One, two, one. I'm not playing two blue boy, like I said, because of two magic library. If you're not playing two magic library, you should be playing two blue boy. All right. One blue boy, two secrets, one knowledge, triple allure. You need to be playing allure. Two, you need more spell cards that are good and do something. Triple Desires is just too good. Upstart Into the Void. You need to play all the... If I could play 19 Into the Voids, I would. Unfortunately, it's at 1. Triple Mastery, obviously. Now, 3 Citadel. I think Citadel is absolutely garbage of a card. But because of the way this deck is built, look how many starters we have. So we're playing this deck very, very, very different than before. So the, we have 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 3 Mastery. We have 11 starters, which is about 9 more than the typical Pendulum deck. So... Now that we have 11 starters, you kind of want to resolve not just one starter, but multiple starters. So this build of more starters allows Citadel to have a lot more power, especially with the Royal Magical Library. So out of these 11, so you have these 8 plus the 3 Mastery, right? So if you open 2 of them, you're resolving both no matter what because of the Citadel. Normally, if you're not playing 11 starters, I would not even play one Citadel. Maybe one at max. That's the idea behind the 11. Okay, so the 11 starters have a lot more power with the Citadel because all the starters are resolving. And if one starter resolves, you go like plus five. Because if one starter resolves, it gets you another card that is going to plus you too, plus another card is going to plus you, plus another card is going to plus you. It's like a never-ending cycle. When one, one starter resolves, another starter will resolve afterwards. And it's like a never-ending cycle, as you guys see in all my streams and P Patreon videos. I just go off when one starter resolves. Uh, so yeah, that's the main deck. Uh, side deck, triples, Dark Ruler, Triple Sphere. Uh, this format, a lot of stuff, like Sphere Mode destroys a lot of stuff, same with uh, the back row, is these seven. Very simply, I will discuss this in Patreon video in the future, but if you look at these first seven, you put these seven in versus combo. If you see these seven, you put these seven in versus trap decks. Very, very simple. You take out seven cards, which I will discuss in the Patreon video, go check it out in the description down below if you don't know what to decide. Two village, going first, I just take out two village for two citadel. Three a secret a village might seem like a lot. Uh, for decks that cannot Dark Ruler me or Super Poly me to clear my board, Super Poly is nothing because you're putting up seven negates. So they still have to deal with four. That's fine. But if you put in a Secret Village and for one Citadel, so for decks that, like, let's say spells don't really matter, you can just take a one for one. So, so it's just like this. Uh, that's why it kind of gives a versatility of terraforming. But I'm warning you guys ahead of time, there will be some hands with three Citadel that could look very bad. But the fact that you're playing so many starters, it kind of saves that. And obviously, once you get the plus from the starter, you, you use your souls. And because you're playing 20 draw cards, uh, look how many draw cards you're playing in this deck. Uh, souls counts as a draw card. This whole line is draw cards. That's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 draw cards. Like, that's ridiculous. 17. Most most Pendulum decks play, like, 5. Uh, extra deck, triple Selene, one Crowley, one Daybreaker, one Cross Sheep, one Mascarena, one Appaloosa, one Phoenix, one Unicorn. Uh, for those that don't know the Cross Sheep combo yet, you cannot not play Cross Sheep in this deck. It's, it's just the, the most mandatory card. Triple Selene, please, please, please. If you're playing one Selene, if you're playing two Selene, please do me a big favor. Stop playing Pendulums. This whole deck, this is the new Electrum. You need to play three Selene. This is not without, this is without question. The only reason you'll be playing less than, than three Selene is if you don't know how to play the deck. And if you don't know how to play the deck, that's fine. That's what the video is for. Watch and learn. Watch my streams. Learn how to play the deck. The things I do with three Selene is ridiculous. I would, there's so many times I played two and I thought, I really wish I had a third. It would have resulted in victory. Uh, but yeah, anyways, and cross shape is some cool combos that you guys can see my streams to figure out. So I usually have one tornado dragon because 
Uh, you do some cool stuff with World Magical Library. You pendulum summon it sometimes. After you, pen you could pendulum summon three monsters at the start, but because of World Magical Library adding like five cards, you end up with like five cards in your hand and, and let's say three, like two negates. But because of the five cards in your hand, you roll a Magical Library of Doctor, which summons itself out with Cross Sheep and Selene, by the way, after you do some shenanigans and draws. You could use your Tornado Dragon, which you make with this and Abductor to pop a scale, and then your Chronograph that you draw will summon and negate. Or you could do cool stuff like that. Tornado has a lot of uh, versatility for that. Same with Sayuja, uh, Absolute, and Vortex, which is mandatory. So that's a deck, guys. Absolutely insane. If you guys try this and don't misplay, you're just not going to lose. This is the updated list. And if I could change anything in this list, so just so you guys know, it would be to cut out one Terraforming and to put in one Super Poly. And for the one Super Poly, you would change the extra deck a bit and put in Verde Anaconda and a Supreme King. Because you can make Verde to target one card and make it a dark. And going second, you can clear boards easier. And if you're facing Eldritch and the Poly's dead, Eldritch is free anyway, so it doesn't matter. But that's the video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Follow my Twitch. Check out the beautiful Triff Gaming playmats on TriffGaming.com. Sign up for the Patreon, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, God. Peace.